Could you generate real propulsion without expelling anything? Well, that's exactly what Norman Deem claimed back in the 1950s, and the scientific world has debated it ever since. Today, I'm looking at what the Dean Drive is and why it is so controversial, and how this little known invention might have inspired some of the present modern reactionless propulsion ideas. So what is the Dean Drive? It was developed in the 1950s by Norman Dean. Norman claimed to produce thrust through internal motion alone. It was reported to move forward without throwing any mass backward, seemingly violating Newton's third law, which we know it does. there's nothing that does. Dean kept key parts of the mechanism secret, secrets that are now being uncovered by modern researchers, like the good people at Rex Research, JLN Labs, and more modern pioneers like Stephen Hampton. Norman Dean demonstrated it on a bathroom scale and the needle moved, but many say it was just vibration or clever trickery of some sort, which is why I prefer not using spring scales if I can help it. While others have demonstrated its ability to self-propel and to raise a balance beam, From what we do know, the Dean Drive used rotating offset masses, basically a form of asymmetric force generation. Think cams and eccentric shifting weights. If you want more information about how we've proven it needs no friction, just let me know in the comments below. I appreciate hearing from everybody. The idea is that one side of the cycle, it pushes hard, and on the other side, it recoils, but only softly, creating net directional force. Most traditional physicists say that just internal forces canceling each other out, so there would be no net motion without friction. However, we have demonstrated that that assumption is wrong. So despite, despite this widespread skepticism, uh, many inventors and engineers do keep coming back to this. It's been discovered that like the pie and some other designs, time has to be added to the equation or it's just never going to work. Some of the most current work is being done by Stephen Hampton. Stephen has posted many videos of his versions of the Dean Drive on his YouTube channel. And although I am not going to elaborate on Steve Hampton's work at this time, I do encourage everyone to visit his YouTube pages, which is linked below. Others have experimented with similar designs going all the way back into the early 20th century, with even folks like Nikola Tesla having proposed a design of his own. Similar ideas appear in gyroscopic drives, oscillating mass systems, inertial propulsion prototypes like the Pi, the pulsed inertial engine. Some say it only works on frictional surfaces, while others think there is a deeper in inertial interaction at play. I have personally built several Pi prototypes, which uses some of these same principles, and I've actually seen directional force which you can see too in the videos posted on my YouTube channel. Feel free to go there and take a look. Is the deed drive reborn? Well, not at all, but the concept of shifting, shifting mass to create movement does, I believe, deserve more investigation. So, what do you think? Was the Dean drive just a myth? Was it a mistake? Or was it truly a missed breakthrough? Let me know in the comments what you think and what you believe. I would really love to hear your take. And if you're really into this kind of experimental tech, please be sure to subscribe. This series is truly just getting started. I appreciate everybody sticking with me, watching our, my videos, and by all means, please do be good to each other, 
to be good to yourselves. And this is Brian St. Clair. I'm signing out.